Hey y'all, Sarah Lou who here, and we're back again with Nightcry. So last time we went through some kind of cabin in the woods and went down a well. We accidentally got an ending where, you know, the scissor walker murdered Leonard and nobody was ever seen or heard from again, apparently, because we didn't radio anybody. But then we went back, we radioed some people, and then we were able to make it down the well without any issues. We saw a bunch of ham lusting ghosts and now we are in some kind of weird ritualistic chamber where there seems to be some kind of ritual going on with a guy named Jerome. And I figured it out. Jerome is who, um, let's see, I went back through it and Jerome is who Monica was saying was hitting on Rooney at the party. Yeah, so we heard about him pretty early on, but no, no, that just seems like a weird thing. I guess he's, like, what was he? He was the conductor, they said, so ship captain or something? I don't know where I'm going. Why am I going up these stairs? Hmm, I can see the entire image from here, just as I thought. It's a magical square. Hmm, yes. Very intricate. That isn't a black silhouette is cast over the magical square. Where? I hope I'm wrong, but does the silhouette represent the Oceanus? If so, wait. No, wait. If there was... If that was the... Damn it, one moment. Yeah, that's a nifty little trick I found out. Apparently, pressing P pauses the fucking text. So, um... Is it possible that this was a test run? That the real witch roll wouldn't uh, take place here, but instead on the... Oceanus? So... Yes, it makes sense. The Oceanus must be the site for the real ritual. Then my students are in grave danger. I need to get back to them. So Jerome- wait. Is this the actual Jerome then? Because Jerome was supposed to be like the conductor of the ship. I'm, I don't know if- They would- not the captain, right? Like, I know you have train conductors, but I don't know if they would be calling him like the con- like- I think they would call him captain if he was, you know, captain of the ship, not the conductor. But I don't know what Jerome's supposed to be, other than a conductor who is hitting on Rooney. But, um, so is this actually Jerome then? Is somebody else posing as Jerome? I mean, he does recognize them. A dagger, a design that seems to ignore utility, so it must be an item similar to an at -hame? Is similar to the Tommy Jockery, a dagger used by Nepali soldiers. The rituals these people perform must be uh, of occult elements from around the world. Yes, indeed. So many occult elements. Alright, can you pick up the dagger? Can you take it with you? No. You cannot. Um, anything else on the altar of interest to us? Other than that bottle? You want to throw out some more mirrors? No? Alright, let's see if we can get behind this curtain now. No magical wizard of Oz, but a door. Hmm. But before that, I need to check the room a little more thoroughly. Ooh, we missed something. Thank you for letting us know, Leonard. Okay, what did we miss? Could we have, uh, done something else with Jerome? Or maybe the ritual things on the ground? Could we kill Jerome? I mean, I don't want to kill Jerome, but if I have to use that ritual dagger, just say uh, we already saw the patterns. Maybe we have to go upstairs again for something? Do we have to look at you guys again? I think I recall seeing this man on the ship. Okay, we couldn't do that before. Alright. Was that what I needed to see? Uh, don't know. Let's see if we can find anything else. Real quick. We can try going upstairs again, maybe? That lead us to anything of interest? No? Okay, what could I have missed? Maybe that was what I missed, because I didn't get that uh, last time. I guess we'll just have to test that out real quick, see if we can leave. Was that what we needed? Was that what you wanted to see, Leonard? Okay, I guess that's what we needed to see. Oh, what are you guys' name again? Eric and Kobe, right. Hi, we brought your own back, apparently. <laughs> Good on you, Leonard. He was held captive by some strange men. Don't worry. He's alive. Oh, 
quickly. Eric, Back how's that itching going? They're targeting the Oceanus. We Oceanus. know. What do you mean? <laughs> I can explain later. They're what trying to her? sacrifice everybody. Can you get this man a jacket? We can't have him freezing to death. Yes, sir. I don't know about Eric. He is getting the itch. He's getting itchy like itches. So I'm not sure if we can trust him too much. Well, I still have faith in Kobe, though. Back. Indeed. I have no idea how many of them are on the ship. We'll have to eliminate. What the fuck? What was that explosion? What the hell? Hey. Get back to the ship as soon as Oh shit, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Fuck you, Eric. Kobe? Is Kobe cool? What? And now, the latest news no, the what the hell? Went missing. The Oceanas had been sailing off course for almost a week. But it was discovered oh, today no. near the Caribbean Isles. The investigation team found no crew members and no passengers aboard. Shit. We are told they seem to have vanished. Searches of the ship's interior have not revealed any clues of how this incident occurred. Ah, crap. It could be said to be the greatest mystery of the 21st century. Maybe it'll, maybe I just missed something in the room. Maybe I'm not going to have to do what I think I'm about to have to do. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what our save data reveals to us. I knew I couldn't trust Eric. I knew it, son of a bitch. Shit. It's all too late. It's all too late. There wasn't another path. Did you use the glass? Shit, so this means if I want a different path, I'm going to have to go all the way back through Monica's stuff. Okay, well, this is going to have to... Okay, this is going to take me a bit, so, you know, um, I'll see you guys in a moment, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're back. So, um, I had to go and look up how to get the wedding ring because I couldn't string it together. Apparently, you were supposed to connect, like, some quarters that you found in the cash register with one of the vending machines. But they had, like, multiple vending machines throughout the place. But, yeah, anywho, weird stuff. But main point is, now we have the wedding ring and now we are also about to find Jessica's body. Because that was the other thing I had to go and do. Because I went and I found the wedding ring and then... I didn't find Jessica's body, and it put us right back on the other path, so... Yeah, that would have led to the constant dead end. And so now we are about to find Jessica's body, from what I understand, and after this, I'm not looking up anything else unless I run us into, like, another extreme dead end, and I can't figure out what it is on my own. So, anyway, let's just catch this cutscene real quick, and... Because it's supposed to be a cutscene. Oh, shit! No, 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 no! Can't you see that she behind it? Oh god, her eyes. Get out of here. Ah, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Hey, fuck you. This is why I love Monica. She is such an awesome badass. You go, girl. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Thank goodness we haven't awakened this thing before. That means we can use our fire extinguisher. Our wonderful, wonderful fucking fire extinguisher. Seriously, I love this thing. Don't you guys love this thing? Yes! Come at us, bro! <laughs> uh, a girl, Monica. a girl. Okay. And so then we have to go back and look at the body. And then we should be set. To go back on our normal path. So let's go examine the body real quick together. Hmm? And then I guess I'll see you guys at the island after that. Just see what the body has to say. Oh, poor Jessica. Can I not go back and examine the body? I thought I was supposed to examine the body. Oh, wow, our shadow makes it look creepy. Alright, well. Lucky it appears to be locked. Alright, then I guess that was it then. So I'll see you guys back at the... Um, island, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys this last time, so I thought I'd just show, like, the little radio thing real quick. It takes a while for it to load with the radio, but this, this is Coast Guard to ship. Um, we've picked up a distress call from your vessel. Huh? Are they reading us? Why, yes, Leonard, they are reading us. A cuff. Ahem. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Yes? This is, pa this is a passenger of the Oceanus, uh, 
current status mass murder something something vessel immobile requesting emergency assistance over roger that relay vessels coordinates over and then we don't know right coordinates coordinates are um, exact position unknown estimated to be in the vicinity of the caribbean islands roger that we will commence a search and rescue operation shortly over yeah and hopefully everything will be all right now except they won't in our other paths so who knows but yeah see this little piece of paper over here it has channel 16 distress and then something about led lights i can't quite like read what that is supposed to be dynamo led five and yeah it just doesn't make any sense to me it's like it's all greek to me but whatever <laughs> But yeah, um, so we should be good. Everything's been playing out like it was before, so I guess nothing's going to change until we get to the end of the level. So hopefully, you know, something there will change and we won't end up in another fucking dead end. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we are back. So we went through, we got everything, we got our, let me turn, was our light already on or off? I don't know. But look, okay, so... Oh, did I not post my thing? But I found- that's weird. I posted it earlier. It's very strange. Um, so yeah, we went through, we got the wedding ring, we found Jessica's body, we got the non-slip gloves so we didn't die there. Uh, we made it through all this. I posted the message on the thing, but for some reason it's not showing up right now. That bothers me just a little bit. I guess that might be a glitch, because it showed it earlier, because I double-checked it earlier. And so he's like, yeah, that'll tell the students, you know, to be aware of that guy with the false eyeball. So let's see how things th yeah, how things change now that we're exiting out. The professor. He was supposed to be here by now. I don't know. We just have to wait. You guys aren't going to still betray us, are you? I don't know if Kobe did, but Eric definitely did. It's a drove conductor. by some strange men. Don't worry. He's alive. We already did this part. Should Quick, I skip this? No, nah, I shouldn't They're skip it. Targeting the Oceanus. Something might change. We don't know. Oceanus? What do you mean? I can explain later. We need to hurry. Indeed. While you're at it, can you get this man a jacket? We can't have him freezing to death. What with all yes, those sir. cuts on his back? That's the least of his worries. <laughs> okay. Everything seems to be going okay. Well, no mass Eric. we've made it back. Yet. We have no idea how many of them are on the ship. We'll have to eliminate... Yeah, see, stuff still goes wrong. Shit. What was that explosion? Hey! Get back to the ship as soon as... Damn it! This can't be right. We're on the right track still. Yeah, see? Okay, good! We have something new! <laughs> August 18th, 2016 at 6.12pm. This is an hour before everything went bad, right? I'm pretty sure it's an hour before because, um, I'm pretty sure Monica's stuff happened at 7 something. So good! We're on track now! We are back on track! Everything should be good now! Oh, finally we can continue the story! <laughs> oh, hello! Who are you? Um... You have a nice background, but who are you? We're Rooney! Holy crap! We're the chick. Oh, Look at the tiger! <laughs> I'm scrolling past it, but look at it! It's adorable! Look at that little face. All these people. Are you guys developers? I don't know. We always keep seeing these things on the messages. Who can we call? Oh. Wow. We do not have a lot of friends. <laughs> Maria! Can we call you? I guess the call didn't go through. Leonard! Gonna answer us? No. Hmm. A lot of music. Oh, there are the people. <gasps> look at the food! We should eat something. Something delicious. Things look delicious. Hey, you! Who are you? Let's say hi to you. Maria! That's why you want to answer the phone. Great to see you. Rooney, great to see you. My bad. Professor, good to see you too. Oh, it's only her professors. <laughs> um, dipping your toes up to these kind of meetups is a good experience for you. Why, thank you. That and it's time for you to be plucked. Time you plucked someone nice out of an event like this or something. Are you telling me to hook up, Professor? 
That doesn't seem very teacherly of you. Rooney, been meaning to say this for a while now, but... Well, maybe it's time you moved out from the professor's nest and spread your wings. <laughs> oh, yes, I've been thinking the same thing. Oh, dear. Um, good dear, sorry it's presumptuous of a lecturer to lecture you on family affairs. It's just the professor's still single himself, and with you around, well, family's family, whatever. You can't stay under the professor's care forever, you know. Okay, so... Are we... Oh, are you trying to hook up with Leonard and we're getting in the way? Is that what you're saying, Maria? Professor Leonard seems our Rooney is itching to leave the nest and find her independence. Oh, well, it wouldn't be the first time I have stopped her before. I'm not inconvenienced by having her around at all. If anything, she helps stay on top of the household chores. Professor, you know that's not why I- One moment. I can pause this shit, okay? <laughs> Professor, you know that's not why I brought it up. We will talk about you know what before the day is through. I'm confused. Is household chores? Is Rooney staying with the teachers? I'm confused. Oh, come now, Maria. I think that's the cocktail talking. Yeah. No, but we really should get out. I'm not drunk. I'm tipsy. There's a difference. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure there isn't. Well, I don't know much about being drunk, so... <laughs> I'm trying to say that it's time you settled down and made a family of your own. Yes, well, as wonderful a conversation that would be, perhaps we can discuss it properly another time. See, she's totally into the Leonard. You go, Leonard. Get you some teacher booty. Um, oh, Rooney, great to see you made it out here. Having fun? Yo, yeah, well, I only just got here, so... Uh, yeah, I guess it's okay. Right, right, of course, you would have no answer to that then, haha. Huh? Okay. Oh, but seriously, I think attending an event like this will do you a lot of good. I will, Professor. Don't worry, we'll put ourselves out there. We'll talk to other people. How, how's that? Um, it's a casual cocktail party, so feel free to mingle and enjoy yourself. We will! Is that Jessica? You are gonna die, girl. Now this is a surprise. Didn't expect to see you here, Rooney. You look totally out of place in a happening spot like this. Oh, wow, that's dated. <laughs> That all you gotta say to us? So, Jerome, where were we? Oh, that's right, that's why Jessica got pissed at us. You were talking about the time in a Spanish, uh, you're talking about the time a Spanish millionaire like you, like, hired you to conduct an orchestra. Okay, so he's a musical conductor. Um, for an audience of two. That sounds nice. Oh, oh, right. Well, it wasn't a big deal, really. I got a rather luxurious present as compensation. Ooh, luxurious present. No need to be modest. Come on, spill the goods. What's it? Oh, I'm not sure I remember exactly. I get love luxurious goods because I am just that fancy. So, okay. Yeah. Alright, you went through all that? No, but remember, like, at the beginning when Monica was talking to Jessica and whoever the other girl was? Um, Jessica was like, oh yeah, that bitch Rooney, she showed up and stole that Jerome guy away. Monica! Oh my god, Monica! <laughs> Hi! So, Jerome, are you single? I bet a guy in your position has women coming up. Okay, well, <laughs> um, oh, really? I don't think I get all that much interest. I don't have that much interest in that kind of thing myself. This text really does move really quick. Oh, the stoic treatment. I love it. It screams bona fide artist. Ah, ha, ha. Do I really come across like that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> we haven't been able to talk to you long. We just kind of been eavesdropping on you. Anything else, Monica? Oh, Rooney, you normally aren't one to socialize. What's got into you? Uh, we trying to get out there more? Nothing, nothing in particular. Uh-huh, well, you could you do nothing in particular over there? Away from my giant bosom being shoved in your face? Seriously, those things are insane. It's not every day I get a chance to talk to a world-renowned conductor. Alone with Jessica. You know, totally alone in this entire banquet hall. Anything else you have to say to us, Monica? So, Jerome, there's really no one you're seeing. No, no one. It's a little hard to settle down when you're globetrotting all the time. Well, I think that's amazing, the globetrotting. I mean, I bet traveling the world together would be amazing. Oh, I guess, but there's something I um, that's be said for traveling alone as well. I think that's what he said. Yep, okay. And that's all we have for you. And we can't talk to Jerome, so, hmm. Strange things. You, Kelly, holy hell, you actually showed up. Didn't they- didn't think the Death Wish Diva had any interest in fancy dudes like this? <laughs> the professor told me to attend, so I kinda had to. 
Okay, now it all makes sense. Well, don't just stand there looking like you have a stick up your ass. Get out there and have fun. The eats and drinks are good. I bet they are. They look delicious, but we can't touch any of them. By the way, have you seen Harry? I don't see him. Um, no idea now that you mention it. He was here a little while back, though. He's probably off chasing some sweet bit of ass again. Just leave him be. Really? Rooney, what are you after Harry for? Why is everybody after Harry? <laughs> Damn, this party is boring. They went overkill with the classiness. We're all too fan- Oh, well, no, it's all too fancy for us. I just came along with Monica and her buddies, but I don't think I'm done here already. Wait, but I think I'm done already. My bad. Okay, and that's it for that. So, let's see what else we got lingering about here. Unless we can just leave. Who are you? You have interesting hair. Makes you look dead. Oh my god! <laughs> have you seen my brother? You should be here. Should have been here just a moment ago. I don't know. No, I'm sorry. Look at his eyebrows! <laughs> Damn it, where has he run off to? That rascally brother of mine. Oh shoot. His fucking eyebrows! Look at those suckers! Oh my god, they make my day. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, what what else can we do in here real quick before- Because we're running out of time pretty soon, I think. Oh no, it's kind of a little muddled because I have to string together different times from like all the- Wait, Jessica? Is that Jessica? I think it's Jessica. Look, Cuddy's out there. Okay, um, female pets. Hello there, do you have a pet? What? Um, no, I used to have a turtle a long time ago. Why would you ask? Um, oh, I have a cat. I brought with her with me on this trip, yeah. Oh, we're not going to see dead cats, are we? Luckily, it's okay for a few pets to come aboard the cruiser. Hmm. I hope we don't see any dead cats. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Seriously. Like, I don't know. Um, that's a story for another time, I think. The dead cat. Oh, if it comes up, I'll probably tell it later, but I have a story about some dead cats that's not very pleasant. Should we go out here, or should we go see itches? I'd rather not hang around for too long, but it would be rude to leave so soon. Well, what else do we have to do? Let's see, let's see about itches. Itches is out there cutting up some stuff. Can we go? The reception area of the party lies on the other side of the store. Beyond the store, Claire can be observed scratching his neck and fidgeting with something. Hmm. What's this? Oh, we're triggering something. So, Jerome, there's really no one you're seeing. No, no one. It's uh, Yeah, we already saw this. Yeah, we should... I skip this? Oh, no, it looked like it was something new, but... No, it's not. Leonard, do you have anything else to say to us? Oh, that reminds me. I would like to introduce you to Jerome as well. Finally, we're meeting Jerome. You've no doubt heard there's a world-renowned conductor aboard. Well, here he is. And far from being some gray-haired old cougar- co Codger? He turns out to be a handsome devil. Oh, Professor, please stop it. How am I supposed to follow up an introduction like that? By staying there and looking pretty. I'm Jero- Jerome Thoreau. It's pleasure Rooney. Rooney Simpson, hi. Can't you have a simple name like Rooney Simpson? <laughs> Rooney, here's a distant relative of mine. In anyway, long story short, I'm watching over her for the time being. As such, she's like a daughter to me. I expect you to treat her accordingly. No handsiness, Jerome. Okay, I think we can talk to Jerome now, but I'm pretty sure we're out of time for this episode. Okay, so holy crap that we got to see some different things. Like, we got to see Jessica's dead body. And I actually had to go back again because I fucked that up. I didn't show that, but I had to go back because... Apparently, you could click on her body afterwards, so what the freaking over? But, um, yeah. Now everything's good. It's all back on track. We're good. We're seeing some new things. We have a new character, Rooney, who... Are you supposed to be bending your leg like that? My god, woman! <laughs> look at that! That does not look... Proper! That looks very strange! <laughs> Natural. Oh, we got to see Monica again. We got to see Monica being a bitch again. It was pretty fun. Pretty nice. Issues in, in there. Seriously, Rooney, what's up with the women's, like, poses in this game? That looks a bit more natural, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's better. That's good, Rooney. But seriously, the way the women, like, move in this game is a little strange. 
I mean, Leonard can just, you know, awkwardly stand there like the old man he is, but all the women have to be like, Ugh, sexy teapot pose. Ugh. Yeah, like that. Now just stretch your other arm up a little and tilt the wrist, but yeah. Um, so, okay, but now we can see Jerome, now we can play as Rooney, and now we're going to, I'm guessing, see the lead up to what happened at this party. Like, how the murders went down, I'm guessing? Because we're here an hour before. We we have to be seeing something new happening within this hour before everything went to shit. So, we'll, I guess, see that in the next episode. So, you know, like and subscribe if you want to. And thank you for watching.